Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. This is a short video tutorial on how I created cryptocurrency portfolio dashboard in Microsoft Excel uh, in less than 90 minutes or you can say one and a half hour. So I, ha I inserted three sheets. Uh, the first one is for the workings where I have extracted some key insights from the data and uh, you can say some of the KPIs or, or important numbers which were required like how much profit or loss I have done so far, uh, the key holdings acquisition cost uh, which cryptocurrency is most profitable uh, till now which I have invested. Uh, and uh, which one is the least profitable so last 24 hours of change average and total return on investment in percentage that is ROI so this is a working sheet where I have put uh, some of the Excel very basic functions like sum right uh, index and match uh, with a maximum to get the name of most profitable cryptocurrency so if you know how to use index and match this will be easy for you to understand right and then the VLOOKUP function as well so VLOOKUP is one of the most common functions user use in Excel so all these things took around 10 to 15 minutes to extract some of the key insights from the data another sheet which I inserted in this dashboard workbook is uh, to get the data in, in a real-time basis right so I have used uh, the stocks data type which is available in the data tab right and what you need to do is you need to have some symbols and when you type these symbols so you can go to the data and click on stocks and all these columns is not uh, copied and pasted from a website manually or I have not entered this information manually this is uh, this this is all these columns are updating on a real-time basis okay and how I did is I just pick all these symbols so there are some limited five cryptocurrencies uh, real-time rates are available in in Excel there might be hundreds of cryptocurrencies uh, till yet but uh, the Excel data types stocks uh, recognizes only five and they are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. So all the columns which you are seeing here that is uh, price, the, the current price, uh, highest, lowest and then uh, the trigger symbol, uh, change in the price, change in, is in percentages for last 24 hours, uh, 52 week high, 52 week low, uh, last traded time and their other names so all these columns is basically coming from these uh, uh, stocks data type okay so if you do if you have not used yet let me show you how it works so let me just uh, let's say copy this these uh, symbols into a new excel workbook and let me show how it works okay right so first I will convert uh, these uh, range as in table so I will press ctrl T and I will also check mark on my table as headers so once you get uh, this transform into a table now go to data and click on stocks so now after clicking on stocks you will find uh, a small icon of add column on the top right side when you click on that you will get a list and from whatever the information you would like to have in your table you just need to click on that so for example if I want to have uh, the price of these cryptocurrencies so I will click and the data will fetch on real-time basis right if I want the high price I want the low price so you can add columns by clicking on any of the field you want okay previous close right so this is how I got all those columns in my that particular crypto data worksheet okay so for example if I want to uh, update all these uh, numbers or the columns then you have to go to data tab and click on refresh okay now let's come to the dashboard so very important thing in the dashboard is to first draft the layout that what are those important columns you want to have 
uh, what are those KPI numbers and, and visualizations you want to have in your portfolio dashboard okay so let me explain you uh, first I have uh, the column of uh, cryptocurrency coins names then how much quantity I have right now okay how many coins I have right now this is the number uh, I have purchased all these coins on the 1st March 2021 and today is uh, 20th March 2021 and I am recording this video uh, the investment so far I have made is of about uh, 20,000 which is the acquisition cost so I have invested $20,000 okay and uh, I have invested in five different cryptocurrency coins so the the investment columns is is pertain to uh, the user which invested in the cryptocurrencies and then according to that I have calculated the current value so there is a very uh, easy formula you can say so how to drive the current value it's basically quantity of the cryptocurrency which I have is multiplying with the latest price of that cryptocurrency from the other table okay so that will give me the current value according to the quantity which I have okay then profit and loss so it's very easy the current value subtract from the investment value okay so that will tell me that uh, I am in profit or in loss okay return on investment so for the ROI percentage if this is below 100% so this means still we want to recover uh, so far what we have invested okay and uh, if ROI is more than 100% so there will be a real-time profitable currency still it's unprofitable but uh, we are recovering and uh, each of the currency is giving uh, definitely profits but the ROI percentages are still below 100 then we have 24 hours change this is these percentages are directly coming from uh, the this uh, particular table so we have uh, those percentages are available here okay and current price so the current price definitely it's it's a simple we look up which I have used so the current price is also coming from this crypto data worksheet uh, column C okay and then the daily ROI so how the daily ROI is calculated so the percentage of return on investment divided by today's date minus date of purchase okay so you will get daily ROI and uh, these are basically just the tax boxes or the shapes you can say so you have to go to insert tab and in the illustrations you can insert the shape you want and what I did is for example you can see acquisition cost which is 20,000 so this 20,000 is not written manually inside the box uh, just you need to do is you need to link this text box or a shape with a cell so if you can observe in the workings I have uh, extracted some uh, important numbers so this particular text box you can see on the formula bar is linked with the equals to working sheet of cell D3 similarly all these shapes uh, in different colors are being linked with the working sheet okay and then you can resize the numbers text fonts and colors as well all right in the invested current value and profit and loss columns I have in I have uh, applied the conditional formatting data bars of different colors so it will be easier to visualize uh, the volumes and the profit and loss uh, right then I have created uh, three visualizations uh, the, the first one is related to the acquisition cost with profit and loss okay and in this particular visual this is the column chart the second uh, chart is the bar chart where the Bitcoin is giving 60% ROI till yet and the lowest one is the Litecoin which is giving 12% and you can see that the highest and the lowest is being uh, with a different color so I have placed some helper column so you can unhide and you can go to to the next few columns and where I have put the logic so uh, it's up to you that how you explore it and the technique which I applied is for the overlapping okay then 
I have also uh, inserted one more visual which is related to the you can see a donut chart and uh, it shows me the current value of uh, the cryptocurrencies in which I have invested according to the quantity I purchased so the Bitcoin seems to be the highest one whereas Ethereum and Litecoin are the lowest then I have also graphically presented the most profitable bit uh, is the Bitcoin and the least profitable is the Ripple so if you can see here the most profitable and the least profitable and their respected ROIs percentages are also here and these shapes are linked from the working cell right so it's not very much difficult for an intermediate excel user to create this kind of dashboard and you can see all these images uh, have been uh, taken from the google images uh, you can just write the cryptocurrency name and you will get uh, you will easily find these images from google images okay so then you can copy and or you can save in your hard drive and then insert image from the insert tab one more important disclaimer here is that uh, financial market information is provided as is as and not for professional or trading purposes or advice so microsoft has made a disclaimer that whatever the updated rates or the prices are coming uh, with respect to these coins from the data types of stocks are not for uh, for professional or trading purpose or if you go to a website let me show you this is the website which is coingecko.com slash en and uh, which shows you the cryptocurrencies prices with respect to one hour 24 hours seven days their market capitalization uh, last seven days of a sparkline chart you can say and 24 hours volume as well right so if you will compare this uh, live real-time website of cryptocurrency you will always find a, a difference in your this particular dates or, or prices of cryptos so that's why Microsoft has added uh, it's for uh, financial market information is is particularly here is for not for trading purpose um, and there will be a minor difference not a major difference every time and whenever you want to update your uh, dashboard because all these things are connected with the formulas right so you just need to go to data tab and click on refresh now you can see that the numbers are being changing right so when you open this file again tomorrow and uh, when you click on refresh so whatever the rates or the prices of these cryptocurrencies will be uh, it will make all those visuals and other things updated automatically so you don't have to do anything and it will save a lot of your time and i hope you will like this uh, cryptocurrency portfolio dashboard thank you